Hi again, Liz. I'm going to show you how to add or edit um, your senior team or your board members. <clears throat> so these are all, well, first to begin with, we're going to want to enable Visual Builder again. And I imagine since you already did it, you um, were able to figure out how to edit someone's uh, bio. Do you just click into the module? And you can see this is an actual a person module, and I and we have the preset for members or team. So you would just edit it right within here. If you want, if someone wanted their image to be changed, there is one important thing, and that is if you want it to look as clean as possible, um, do make sure that they're all. Um, consistent in their dimensions. So um, in this case, I made the template 446 by 370. And if you click in your media library, you'll be able to see um, how what dimensions to crop people to. So it'll be 446 by 370. So <clears throat> um, you can also, um, hold on so tight. Um, so yeah, that is the rundown of how we, um, you would edit them. People with the longer bios, I had to add the special read more module, this toggle setting. Um, so I will show you how to do that in a minute. I just wanted to show you one thing. Okay, right. So because he had to read more, his wasn't linked to anything. But for example, for your standard person who doesn't need a read more section, you're going to want to link it to their full bio. Um, sorry, I'm like thinking here. Okay, so this is the full um, bio page. So they don't need. Um, link. So this must have been like something old when I had started building it. Sorry, I'm just confusion, confusing you now. So I'm actually going to remove that because I caught a, um, that link wouldn't have hurt anything, but it also just didn't need to be there. Um, also, I don't know if I showed you with the other one. So you go in here, right? And here's the position where you change the position. Um, so Say you wanted to add a person, the easiest thing to do, and um, this is what I do all the time in Divi, is just see this little icon, just click duplicate module, and then just drag it. So in this case, we're going to drag it over here. So we have a row of three. And then from there, <clears throat> you just added it. So, you know new name, let's just put person. Um, we can pretend we added some new text. That's all pretty straightforward. Um, you do have to be careful when you copy and paste from Word. Sometimes the text styles that you had in Word will override the styles here. So if that's ever the case, and you click this text tab, you might see some weird code here, which you would have to delete. But if you do run into that issue, um, just you can always shoot me an email and then I can show you how to remove that. I do try to co to build sites, so it will override Word settings, but I, I just can only do so much. Um, could add the new image. So again, let's say you have an image that you crop to 446 by 370. You upload it and then you have your new person. And then, okay, so let's just delete that for now. And I wanted to show you, so say for example, um, you wanted a whole new row of three. Um, again, really what I would do, which is the, would be the easiest thing, is just duplicate an existing one and then what you can do is click this section and just drag it down to where you want it. Um, 
And then you can edit these as needed. Um, and just to show you what these read more toggles are. So again, like say you wanted to add a, you wanted to extend Scott's bio. Um, and instead of trying to figure this out from scratch, the read more, just duplicate this one, drag it over. It doesn't matter which one. And then from there, edit it. So then you can add um, his extended bio here. So for example, more testing. And then he would have, um, he would have that there. Um, I'm gonna delete that, that way it's not live. So it really is pretty easy um, to, to add people. The, really the biggest thing is just making sure everyone, um, sorry about that, um, image size is correct. So I'm gonna delete this since um, we obviously don't want that there twice. So just keep in mind when you're working on the site, really anything can be duplicated. And that just makes it so much easier if you wanna copy the look and feel of something, but um, you know, don't want to um, build it out from scratch. So we're gonna um, save, even though we didn't make any changes. And I wanna show you before I, um, stop this video. So let me see, I was probably on learn. In the one teaser section where we have um, these folks. So say you wanted to add a teaser for somebody else. Uh, the teaser is a little different, obviously, because they don't have their bio, but also because we have to add a link to it to their spot on the main page, on the big um, page. So for example, um, again, like if I wanted to make a new a row of people, I would just duplicate it. Let's say I, I only wanted one person here. I would just delete, delete. I would, let's just call this a new person. Okay, and now what, um, this is the only part that's a little bit tricky, but I think, you know, once you know how to do it, it is, pretty easy to grasp. So you want to click, um, you want to click ad advanced. And um, well, let me show you on someone else first so you get the idea. Sorry, I'm trying to figure something out here. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. Okay. So Okay, so let's say you created this person here and I'm gonna show you how to link it. First, um, you would save it. Um, I'm not gonna save it right now because I don't want to um, update the live site. So let me just go back to when we loaded the page, save. Sorry for this back and forth here, as you can tell I am unscripted. Exit Visual Builder. Okay, so what I wanted to show you, so you know how to link someone to their full bio, if you have their teaser elsewhere on the page. Okay, so on the full board of directors page, So here's um, Porter, you'd enable Visual Builder. <laughs> and if we click on her, I wanna show you what I've done. Okay, so in the advanced section under CSS ID and classes, all I did under ID was um, type in the person's last name, and this will just create an anchor link. So um, when, and to show you, 
um, how that works. So I added that as an anchor link and everyone's anchor link is just their last name in this case. So if we go back, to the teasers and we find Porter again. <clears throat> Sorry, I clicked on the wrong page. Sorry, this video is gonna end up really confusing, I think. We just want the main learning page. See, I forgot to exit Visual Builder, so I wasn't going anywhere. Okay, so in this instance, this is what I should wanna show you. Okay, we click on Porter. And then if we look at this link, you can see it is the board of directors and path forward team page, but with the forward slash and then this hash sign and her last name. So that's, um, it's telling, um, the link is saying, go to this page and then find this CSS ID. So that's how, Um, when we click on quarter, we get taken to her on this page. So say you want to, um, create someone new. Again, like I would just duplicate it, drag it over, then do new person. Yeah, say we edited all that stuff. And then we would go to advanced. And since um, we duplicated it, you have to make sure you update it to the new person's last name. So let's say this person's last name is person. Um, we would save it. And I will undo this as soon as we're done. So it's not up on the live site. Okay, and then <clears throat> we go back to the learn page where we have just the teasers of um, the team. Oops, sometimes I still click at a page, but we want enable visual builder. Okay, so again, I would just, um, if I wanted to add a person, duplicate a row, let's just um, delete any we don't need. Say for example, you just wanted one and let's pretend this was um, the person who we duplicated on the um, other page. I just don't remember his name, unfortunately. And what we would do for the link is change, um, since we duplicated this, change it to person, um, which is what we had created on the board of directors page. Save it. <clears throat> Save the whole page and exit Visual Builder. That way we can test it. And now we go here and we click and we're brought to new person. Um, so actually let me um, show you how to fix this since I just noticed this. Um, 
his name isn't consistent and because it looks like the no, it's right. Okay. So um, let me just check that. Sorry, it's my OCD. So title text, we don't need title text. We need Okay, sorry, I'm just getting distracted here. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna, going to um, delete this so it just doesn't um, show up on the, it's not up on your live site. And then save, and then I will delete it on the learn page and save it. So, um, that is much easier than it seemed. Unfortunately, I just didn't have my stuff together and was all over the place. But hopefully, um, you know, it, it makes sense. And just showing you how to duplicate things in general um, just sort of shows how easy it is to really create. And um, okay, well, that's it for this video. Thanks.